When I was a teenager, I actually never really liked social media that much, except from one or two platforms that existed. One of them was Tumblr, a platform where I could just indulge in my unadultery naivety with pictures and videos, whatever that was. That was just on my dashboard, so I could curate as something that I just wanted, basically a blog where all the pictures were formally aligned and with yeah, just colors and schemes that I personally enjoyed. Without having this this idea to someday make money from it or have a huge amount of followers. You really never really had a goal in which you wanted to become this sort of kind of influencer. Which I liked because I could just have fun. And having fun is so completely being far gone from social media that we have nowadays. And the other one was Facebook. With Facebook, when it just started out, I just really enjoyed playing a lot of Facebook games. It was just something new to us and everyone. We were young, so it was fun. <laughs> but these days are over. Which is why I want to give you some reasons why you might want to stray away from it if you haven't already. And in the end, give myself a reason why I want to start drawing with a little drawing session. <laughs> Yeah. So first of all, I think that we only ever create fake connections on social media. And this is more likely with people that we are, in fact, close to. So when we, for example, see what they have posted on Instagram, we like or we comment, whatever they do, and occasionally even share if we like it very much. But this only creates a, some sort of illusion that we feel very close to them. But in fact, it's only the bare minimum that we do in order to feel like we are in contact with them. And this can be totally different if we, for example, just have a monthly FaceTime call or a normal phone call that we can do in order to really be in contact with them and get to know the entirety of their story and what they have lived, what they have experienced, so we can vicariously live what they have gone through by actually being in contact. There's actually been studies that have been conducted, one of them showing that it's called the Dunbar's number, if I'm correct, which shows that we only have so much cognitive space that we can maintain healthy social relationships with other people. And if these numbers, which is 150, is um, overcrossed, we don't really think that we can have these meaningful connections ever really in present. Since it's impossible for us to create so many human connections throughout our social circles, I think it's pretty much impossible, if not really impossible, to create these connections online and have meaningful connections with them. As normally people in real life are more accepting, more kind, more supportive, more friendly, and they just really want you to be happy. And every little connection that feels a little bit awkward or not as intentional as it should be, is then rather referred to ourselves. Which comes to one of the next things I want to talk about is that social media is, I mean, to be fair, even I do it attention-seeking by actually grabbing attention from other people, which is completely normal and hu human to some extent, obviously, but we do it to such an extent that we should question ourselves whether we really have these sort of goals or if we are having just these goals implanted in ourselves just because they so exist. And it puts a lot of pressure on us as we constantly have to worry or at least think about if the attention that we want to derive from others is also on times when we feel the most happy or the most aligned with what we want. There are times when we desperately don't really want to share our personal life or privacy with other people. And so we only create this this illusional world in which we are constantly happy and other people then think, oh, this person lives their best life. But why would you want to then share something of your life where you are the most depressed? Which is, well, completely normal to understand that we don't want to do that. So there's always this disparity between what is real and what is not. And by being on social media, we always have this underlying comparison going on in which we feel kind of inadequate, even though we don't actively think about this this way, but it's constantly looking at other people's achievements. And then we basically just imply it on us. Although what's obviously the most healthy way is to have our achievements, our concerns, and how, how far we have come so far 
should rather be compared to how we were yesterday or the last week or a month ago. We are just completely different human beings. So this is just very disillusional to think of us that we should be compared to other people instead. And it just makes me feel like I am not enough, which everyone should feel like they are, because we are doing the utmost best to just be better human beings every day, or the ones that need to try. And I don't know about you, but also with Instagram, for example, there's this story function. And I hate it so much because I feel personally compelled to click on Instagram every day to see what everyone is doing at this very moment. And if you are not on this app in the next 24 hours, this moment will be forever gone unless this person actively decides to capture this moment and sticks this on their profile. So we kind of have this... <laughs> You know exactly what I mean. And the very best thing about not being on social media is that you have more time. You are not thinking all the time that you have to just mindlessly scroll. And instead, for example, I invested in another hobby. And you know what? I have decided to start doing art. And I think usually I've been I've told myself that I did not really wanting to start art again because it was would have just been another project that would be unfinished but I want to take away this feeling that I will not ever be enough and just start it because I want to and I desired and I want to have fun because fun is so difficult to get by nowadays because we are in this constant treadmill of always becoming better and blah, blah. <laughs> Anyways, I have started to do my research about art. It has been maybe years ago when I have indulged myself in photography and videography. One of them, which you can see here. Hey, yeah, hello. I noticed that I've been building up little chunks of blocks in which I have could have improved the the theory side of art, but never the practical sides, which I want to do today. Okay, since I did not really want to get into the easiest things that exist, I actually wanted to start something that is a little bit more difficult. So, well, Let's start. So I thought, why not actually start with, let's say, um, draw this very professional figure of um, a man sitting on a chair. Um, I thought this could be a nice idea to start and just like paint it with multiple layers. Um, so let's just start. Uh, yeah. And I guess that's it with today's video. Um, I hope you liked the video and yeah, goodbye. Okay, um, no, let's start something real. Uh, so I found I, I found this this content creator. Um, her name is Sia Kulu, and she made this amazing yeah picture of this cat and this in the pool. And you can see it. It looks cute. And I just want to start off doing this, and I think it could be a nice idea to start. It doesn't look like it's the most difficult, and why not start it so I could feel like I've actually done something that's a little bit more proper. So I have actually absolutely no idea how to start. And just as a reference, if you want to start drawing, maybe you should actually get into to know how the program works, and I did over the last two days, but it's still very difficult, and I don't think... Oh, wait. I think I... No. What? This is this is devastating. <laughs> oh, I did it! Wow, it looks it looks colorful. I love it. <laughs> Can we already quit? I think this is today's video. <laughs> no, okay. Um, another layer. Um, I think I should start off with the with the with a hard brush and just like line them out. I think some people told me I should use a round brush at first. Um, I'm, I'm only using the default um, brushes now because the brushes that I bought recently are brushes from Louise. Um, maybe you know her. She's from the Netherlands and she's a... If not, if you've been on the artist, artist's internet, then you've seen her probably. 
she is she is her pictures are so gorgeous and I actually love everything about her pictures which is also one of the reasons why I wanted to start art because it just looks so glamorous and mm, I just like everything about these pictures because they just take me back to when we were innocent and we dreamt about about adventures and yeah I don't know it feels nice anyways um back to the cat uh okay kitty you are a bit too big not you cat i mean my my pencil hover oh this looks like something oh my god i can already see that <laughs> oh my god I will never become good at painting. <laughs> well, it's just drawing, but you know what I mean. No, no. What are you doing with your paws? Oh my god. This cat only has two, two nails. It's cute. doing? Why am I doing this? I had a different color back before. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I apparently went on the on the rubber button. If you are British, don't quote me. Um, I know the rubber is actually something different in <laughs> in your good country, but I am not British. Neither do I have an accent, neither do I... Yeah. Oh my god. Should I start with the eyes now? Oh, come on. I can't fuck it up more. Uh, come on. I, I can do the eyes better. I can do the eyes better. Oh. Oh. No. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that, that that's that's fine, for now. <laughs> if anyone ever comes back to my first pictures ever drawn, and they are like, "You are such a professional," I know, I know. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave away. The, the, the rest of the body because it seems too complicated to draw this and I know it's not but look at me look at what I have what I have here it's basically nothing yeah but I at least want to paint out the, the is it white no it's not could be what is this color It works. I take it. Oh. I really hope that actually some people will like what I'm doing here. I mean, this video started out so well, and now I'm just trying hard. Oh, big brush! Big brush! Ah! So fun though. That's that's admissible. That's admissible. Say it's admissible. Thank you. What else can we do? Except making the best art project you've ever seen. If you're not gonna buy one of these staple products in the future, I wanna take it personal. This is this is already mmm. Purple. Well, it's pink, but... Someone told me it's so intuitive. It doesn't feel so intuitive as of now. Singing in the rain, singing in the rain. 
I'm drawing, I'm drawing. There's probably better things to do. Why is it so fun? Even though I am not good at it. No, no. done this is cool I guess I can just paint all the white and then I guess we are happy little beans for today and in fact I only want to let you know the worst thing about anything that you want to do in life it's just starting. You know it's gonna suck. You know no one really wants to pay attention to whatever you do. But it's all about just starting because the second time and the first time will become easier and easier. And it has been difficult to start off this video already as well because there were so many examples that I like things that I have to think about that um that weren't easy to come by but who's gonna stop me? who's gonna stop me? you know what? I'll take it this is my first character and this is my first drawing ever and with that I think I want to say goodbye thank you for watching if you've come so far you are a good one and I hope to see you next time um, <laughs> yeah and Whatever you do, I encourage you to start off as well, whatever you want to do. And with that, goodbye. <laughs>